hey what's going on everyone before y'all check out this video make sure you hit the subscribe button down at the bottom we appreciate y'all for always showing us love and support i hope y'all enjoyed this episode of unfiltered brothers and make sure you like share and subscribe y'all stay blessed can you imagine can you imagine stay you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready can you imagine you pull up <laughs> you pull to the Bro, hotel stay ready you ain't and the person get pull out applesauce and cinnamon toast crunch you're like what you about to do with that i'm gonna have a snack eh? <laughs> You got your, you got your bag mixed up with your kids. <laughs> hey boy, I'm gonna tell you right now. No, this is my whole bag. <laughs> I'm your whole bag with applesauce and cinnamon toast. What is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Are oh, we starting on that note? <laughs> uh, I'm Fifty Brothers. Hey, yeah, your boy Derek. To my right, you got your boy Joe. Hey, yo, yo. To his right, you got your boy Rand. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And to his right, you got your boy Ford. Ford get your Yellow. <laughs> Your daddy cup off the table. Let that man, let that man have his cup on the table, man. Show it, show, show it to the world, man. That boy happy to be a dad. You too can have a dad cup if you pay us twenty nine ninety nine. We ain't gonna make it. I'm about to say who? <laughs> <laughs> but you can have one too. <laughs> about to say that ain't in the catalog. <laughs> At all. How y'all boys feeling tonight? I'm tired, I'm man. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. From work? Yeah, it's been a long week, man. It has been a long week. Was what you happened? off Monday? Yeah, yeah. I was Do you work? Monday. Okay. I worked. I said I was off Monday. That's what I said. I said you said, yeah. oh, you worked Monday? That's what you said. No, it was just me repeating the same thing I thought I had. Oh. Yeah. I wish. Oh. You had to go in. Why did y'all have to go in? It's Liberty. It's that liberty. doesn't make sense. I mean, the, the students weren't there, right? No. So what y'all do? Just sit around all day? I mean, we still work. We, oh. only, we only off on, like, well, our... Our department only off on major holidays. What is your department specifically? Uh, registrar. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I thought it was. That is a major life. holiday. It's on the calendar. Should be. Who is the president? It was George Washington's George birthday. Washington. Yeah. It was President's Day still, but yeah. Hmm. So it always why. falls on twentieth. Don't know, but I know we get that some bitch off. No, nah, usually for uh, like the third. Is, isn't it like the third Monday? Or that's what like I was that? thinking too. I, I was know. like, yeah. that some bitch got gave us a day off. So I'm alright. Yeah, I was cool with that too. Yeah, that's. Mm. Nick, I was off. I've been off since like, wow. I left out of town. I was off Friday and left out of town. town. That boy, no, no more. I told myself from March, I'm saving my money. To go out of town. Uh, in April. Nah, I can't stay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, do I got somewhere to be in April? <laughs> nah. Gotta save my money up, man. Yeah. Just hitting that road, man. Gas is expensive. I mean, you it's do that when you got out there. Nah, I didn't know it was this bad. If I knew that it was gonna be like this, I wouldn't have bought a Honda. I would just went here and bought a truck. You talking about gas? You talking about getting the truck? Yeah, because that's what I wanted. But I got the car. I got the Honda to save money. But now I just wish I would have got what I wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm gonna be broke regardless, <laughs> at least I'll be broke with what I got. The stages are broke though. Oh, you right about that? You <laughs> are right about that. The stages are broke. You, you can right still take care of yourself a little bit. Yeah, you you, get that you truck. You ain't gonna pay for shit. I pay hundred dollars for gas. Yeah, I'm talking about trucks. That. Did you ever get your truck fixed? Yeah, no, no. Oh. No, it was outside last time. It was beat up. I ain't paying attention no, to it. No, it's, it's good now. It's good now. It's outside. It's good now. Shoot, how you doing for a week? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't paying $100 for gas. <laughs> how much do you pay for your gas? Uh, if I let it, <laughs> Inquire if I just want to know. If I let it get to ease, like 65 That's still too much for me. What you got? I got 60 Yeah, I mean, what, I, like, what, I got. Like, yeah, what you pay for in gas? Uh, right, well, right now, it's... About whatever it is, like so, if gas like three nineteen or some shit, so like thirty two dollars. So I used to pay like ten. I used to pay like ten about, gallons in the junk. I'm about thirty five. That's almost thirty five. When that junk jumped up to like three thirty nine, my junk got the E up, put about fifty in it. Oh, okay. They, that's what I'm asking. That's okay. when it was three thirty nine, but it's like three nineteen then so about thirty five. Tell you right now. What? I'm gonna try to tank y'all. Why such a big change though? That's like what, twenty twenty cent. Yeah. We got really? Difference. Yeah, mm -hmm. damn. You right. Shit, this nah, one gas right. station on 24, like 309 this morning. Wait. I saw that. Yes, sir. That little expressway mm -hmm. shit. I ain't see that. In Rustburg, it's. The yeah, but you you don't take 24. No, won't take oh, I thought you were talking about for, for, uh, uh -huh. for 60. Mm -mm. I wish. I, I, I do that Kroger, get that three cents off every, <laughs> every, every time, but that's, that sometimes yeah. that shit don't don't really be hitting like that. I never stop that. get y'all an Exxon mobile car. You I need to do something about that. Yeah. Yeah, they was talking about that. I usually do shit. I got ten dollars all the gas all the other day. All right, time to get that summer because <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Man, yeah. Ten dollars. 
I can hold you. I was happy you when get, um, cause keep you keep on sliding just, every time you pay for gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get yeah. up to a thousand points. So yeah, you get ten dollars off. I know. Um, yeah. She said gave me a discount. It gave me some off for my birthday, and then it let you when you start the car to get you some off. I said, "Oh, this will be a good day." So Let me you, go ahead and put an extra. If you get it up to there. two thousand points and your gas just twenty dollars, that's free gas right there. What do I get this Exxon mobile card? I'm about to say, yeah, we getting the wrong business in the that's Exxon store. That's oh, right. I, I think <laughs> I, I got an Exxon mobile card. Yeah. Do you? I swear I think I, I do. Use mine faithfully. Oh, it might be a fast mark car. I got one. You probably ain't got it. They don't get no discounts. I think I got that. You fuck. They don't get no discounts. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't never use that. You got a damn Valero card. Right. Speaking of gas stations, they about to put Wawa over here. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. By the time they put something over there, they spend all that money cutting into that forest and then just no one's taking that road. Yeah, they spend all that money cutting into that forest and then just no one takes that road. That's a fact. Like, yeah. So, that's nice to put Wawa over here. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's nice to put a Wawa. Oh, I can't wait for a Wawa. Oh, I love a sub from Wawa. She's about to go business. You think I so? Don't know. I, I, I like feel, Sheets. I feel, I feel like they got their. Uh, I feel like they got different. Yeah. Got loyal customers. Like Sheets and Wawa. Got Sheets is more. Wawa is cleaner. No, I think that Sheets is older. That's, she's been around for a while. Depends what Wawa you go to. Because remember that one over in Concord? Some of them bitches in Richmond? Yeah. In the Richmond area? Some of the smaller ones. Yeah. Be, uh, rinky oh, dinky hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you mean you mean you don't go past Courthouse Road, the one that connects to Chesterfield Town Center? Yeah, yeah you don't go past yeah, that. Go past that. If you get to that Shoney's and the Popeyes, you you are you on the other side of town. <laughs> yeah, 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 don't go. Yeah, hey, you on the other side of town. Hey, time to go to back to the crib. Hey, bro, I'm gonna tell you, things change real quick on Hall Street. Boy. Time, turn around, you get down there by that damn Shoney's house. Man, but let's move this thing along. Let's move this thing so along. Down there mm hmm. On the left. Yep, yep. When he, when speed limit drop, drop up to I don't want to hear across from Reverend Foots Church. Oh, Reverend Foots. Foots. Well, Bishop Foots, my bad. Bishop Foots. I don't know him. New direction. We moving yeah. along from that. His name Foots? Like, like his name? F O O T S. We moving on from that, man. Oh, man. I hope y'all y'all been good out there. I hope y'all had a good start of the year. Foots, the motherfucker said Foots. Oh, Bishop. man. But we're gonna. Uh, he can't we, cut my back off. I'm all the way over here. Right. <laughs> you can keep talking. I can't say that. I can wait right away. Go there and cut that bitch right there. <laughs> Play with me if you want then to. Then I'll man. get it, man. He got big tracks. Man. <laughs> but, you know, while we're recording this, while we're recording this, it's still uh, Black History Month. Um, we got. Uh, we started a little different segment at the beginning of each episode. We're starting, um, starting now. Not not a, not a big segment, but just uh, see what type of vibes y'all been on oh, for the start of the start of the week. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, every week, you know, starting now, you know, we're gonna Hate post me. on our social media, you know, a song of the week from each of us, and we're gonna see what type of vibe y'all been on mostly. You know what I'm saying? So we, I'm gonna start here with Joe because Joe, oh, I've Joe, been waiting, yes, sir. Joe been talking about hey, been a song he been bumping lately. So what, what, what vibe? What vibe you on right every now? Every day, I get in the car. I'm gonna tell you one thing. First of all, shout out to my girl SZA because that album. Oh, I, that oh, album is amazing. I feel like I know which way. Uh, you still a one to I know you about this. Which way? Which way? Which thing it is? I got. I got a choice between. I got, like, I got three of them. <laughs> I'm gonna say this one. This is I've been vibing this one all week, boy. That Kill Bill, that's my that's one of my joints. But I also got I got some other ones too. That's one. Uh, that's when you rock with the most, though. Yeah, she's rapping like she, yeah, she the album, whole album that. slapped. But uh, I don't yeah, know. I cap. She was slapping on that. I was though. listening to that uh, that Kill Bill by Scissor Boy. I mean, hey, I just killed my ex. I said, hey, hey, I don't know nothing about that. But hey, nah, I like don't. the song. Sound like some shit you do, boy. What? No, I ain't no murder. But don't push me <laughs> Y'all stupid Now I don't know But not, the one I This not mine But the one I was talking about the, I, I slept Because you know how people be boosting shit mm -hmm. So I was like Let me let me just let it die Let me let it die down Because her album came out last year You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. So I was like Let me let it die down Then I'm going to go back And listen to the album mm -hmm. I was like Oh I see what it is though. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But that's news, news. That's news The only reason I ain't Shirt say too Oh yes, sir. Shirt and nice um, jump. It's another one with um, what's his face? I can't think of it now. I think it's used. I think it's song used with um, um Don. Uh, 
Don, I don't know. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. That one. I know you talking about Tolliver, Tol- so, yeah. Tolliver, some of that. That one slaps. The whole album slaps. But that's yeah. news. Hey. But we gonna we gonna we gonna post this and we gonna post post a poll and see what what vibe y'all with the most. Uh, for what what vibe you been on this past week? I've just been trying to get some sleep, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's not part of the segment, man. <laughs> what vibe you been on, man? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga the problem. We might have to turn this into a therapy session. We might have to turn this into a therapy session. I just been I'm trying ready. to sleep. <laughs> I'm ready. To sleep. Boys, I'm ready to go to work. <laughs> nah, I ain't ready to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all <laughs> Ran what vibe you been on this week man? I know I already told Joe he gonna hate me What is that Well y'all gonna hate me Why I mean it's your vibe Yeah but I'm on that bluey thing song dog I don't think I heard that That bluey oh, thing mm. song hit bro Hey boy every time Do 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 Mom <laughs> yeah. Hey boy yeah. Hey blue. bluey slap Hey, Bluey Slap. Shout out to my daughter. Hey, yeah, boy, her, hey, yep. Bluey Lord, Slap. Bro. I ain't God. even got no kids. Slap, Bluey bro. Slap. I promise to God you that damn song go You hard. throwing that on the playlist for real? Hey. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't but, even be mad at that, but Bluey? Hey, Bluey be like that. She I've been, been on the Law and Order theme song. Hey, it's another joint that we got in one of the episodes. It be like, oh, I forgot how it go. It be like, it be like little bug on, on the wall. Ching, ching. I be like, hey, get the Bluey. So we know who next. <laughs> um, just just so I can watch the kid card. As for you, what are you going with? Because I mean, as for you, I could have I could have hit right. the best time to wear a striped sweater. Is all the time. Y'all get on my nerves. I could have did that. I don't do that because you started singing along. I did. Yeah. It's, I, it's supposed to be all my shit. You know. I know. But, oh, that's uh, good. The mornings when I got hurt. That's what we watching. We on SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. SpongeBob nice. Bluey. We ain't with that Coco Melon in the All right, oh, so. Off. I'm on West VU. I'm going. Damn, we'll be at the beach. I'm throwing it, throwing it back just a little bit to the 90s. I've been fucking this shit like <laughs> every day. Solo Heaven. That's my shit. Golly, you did take it back. That's my shit, though. I fucked around there with this the bed right Ooh. the other day. All right, I guess. Which one? Which one? Because that's my girl right there. Oh, here it is, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? The hell just happened? No pain, no gain. What? Yes, sir. How, we, we are twenty. We are. I don't know why, 20s. but I've been bumping that shit. Like you and your twenties. I'm damn near thirty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's old. <laughs> why that song? Huh? Why that one? That's my shit. I play. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it out, but yeah, I don't want no copyright shit. You know what I'm saying? That bitch gonna get us put off damn TV. I mean, you do. <laughs> you know what song I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, That's right. what I was saying. I was like, yeah. I don't know. You know, I've been on my throwback okay. shit, and that. I was I like, that. that shit just kept. I was like, all right, back. I, you know, that's like, how it was when I was on TikTok and everybody was using the "Breaking My Heart" um song by Mint Condition. I was like, you know, I forgot how much that song slap. should do slap. Not Mint Condition. Mm. Yes, you do slap. Breaking my heart. But yeah, we gonna uh, we gonna post a song of the week every week. See what vibe y'all on. See if y'all match our vibes and shit like that, man. Yeah, song is always a vibe for me. What's that? Oh, now you now, oh, now he got a vibe. He had time to think. He had time to think. He had time to think. This 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 goes. All right, let's have our best. This goes way back. R and B, rap, or gospel. Hold on. Cause he be, he be I don't know. I feel like it. It's, feel it's like probably it's part of a soundtrack or something. I feel like it's probably part of a soundtrack. I don't know. It might be R and B. Mm. You going R and B? Where you going? I go gospel. You going gospel? I'm gonna go so. Okay. Oh, that's a good point. All right. So. All right. For we listen. Living for the love of you by Ronald Ashley. It probably yeah. R and B. Why that song? I can tell how the way he that's said it. He too. won't. He that's won't go playlist. gospel the way he. he I don't know. Ford always. Oh, when you uh, choose R and B. It won't but two other choices. That's on the playlist. <laughs> I ain't think of soul. <laughs> Grew with you. I've been bumping that mm. shit too. I've been bumping that shit too. That's my shit, boy. Ron Isaac, I swear to God, that boy. Mm. That, that is a grown ass man. That boy got something younger than me. That boy can sing. <laughs> that boy can sing. He can sing though, sir. I mean, that boy. Hey, yeah. When that boy starts singing, I be like, mm. 
sir. I see why they was fucking with this man back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> he got the pipes on him. See why he's still making babies. Boom. Mm. That is a fact. Hey, man, look, he's too you damn old to be making babies, ain't yeah. yeah, he? Got one he got one. He got a teenager. Sing the draws <laughs> off the, <laughs> oh, no, the draws off that coochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move on from that. <laughs> but while we recording this, man, it is still it is still Black History Month, man. So I just want to take the time out to shout out some some local. Hey, before you go to the black, black shout out to Mariska because she on TV. Y'all hey. stupid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How you doing? Before I even get to the people, I want to shout out to the uh, to the Prince Edward Middle School teams, the oh, girls yeah. and the boys. Shout out, shout out. Uh, girls back to back champions, thirty and zero. Hey, Amen, hey, Amen. I don't know. Y'all probably seen that in the season, but I don't know how if y'all really seen that from a team. I don't care what level. I go two season undefeated back to back. That's crazy. So that's. Shout out to them. Shout out to the boys. Um, got out. They got their first uh, championship in middle school history in the program history. So shout out to the boys, man. So taking back and off of that, we'll go ahead and get a shout out to Tyleek for what he doing nice. in the community um, and his uh, clothing brand that he got. Um, Dream catches. Make sure y'all support the bro. What he got going on. Uh, shoot, might as well go ahead and get a shout out to G while we at it. G Sounds for what he do for the first boys club, um, everything he do in the community. Uh, shout out to the boys at the Fit Academy, Trey, uh, Brandon, Tim. Hold on now, hold on. It's Black History Month. <laughs> oh, 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 we got oh, him off the we list. Got, we got to pick Brandon off. Yeah, <laughs> Moon, you ain't making dog. Damn, my fault, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hey, nah. I'll yeah. let, let them know. <laughs> I'll let them know. I hit them on the side. Like, hey, bro, you ain't making it to the shout out list. Man, man, nah, uh, shout out to my boy. Bro. Shout out to uh, AJ. Oh, um, yeah, facts. He do our audio. He a producer uh, out of Virginia. He got some big stuff uh, boiling up this year. So, y'all be on the lookout for AJ. Shout out to his wife, Unity. Um, she do uh, nails. If yeah, she's a nail uh, tech. If you don't know, she a licensed cosmetologist. That's a big ass word. But um, shout out to her. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Malik Nash, um, Maliko Shoe Care. You know what I'm saying? If you got shoes uh, that you need done, restore, he got you. Uh, shout out to, I'm, I'm going to say shout out to our brother podcast, man. Shout out to Aaron Boxdale, oh, yeah. man. And, and Shout out to the bro. So what do you um, ain't say fuck him? Does he always say fuck he you? Always, he <laughs> always. I, I, look, I saw it. I didn't have IG. Someone screenshot said, damn, what you do to this man? He's still he the bro. He the bro. Yeah, you he he, he wants you he off this show so bad. He just want to take my spot. See, that's what that's what haters do. They <laughs> always want your spot, but they don't understand the work that you did to get this spot. So no, right. no, no. He had a little thing on Instagram. They talking about somebody uh, add another member to Unfiltered um, Brothers or leave and start your own show. I feel, I feel like it was him. I don't know who asked the question. So I feel like Ed I followed up. Question. Right, I got drunk. I was like, I don't know who said the shit, but you leave and get your own damn show, but crash that bitch. Who? I ain't see that shit. I put it on the joint. When? When I got home. Oh, I ain't see it. Let me go back and check that out. Go check that out. I don't know about it. You ain't got social media. Hey, right. Why you always asking follow up questions when you ain't got social media? I just want, <laughs> I just want to feel included. <laughs> Get <laughs> social media. <laughs> and feel included. You, you, you ain't. Got, oh, you got FOMO? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you ain't got FOMO shit, man. I don't, I don't, uh, like, I don't like that FOMO shit. I hate that shit. But yeah. uh, shout out to my boy Andrew. We call him AJ um, from college. He an uh, artist. He a painter. He got some good stuff out there. Let's check him out. His uh, his IG is RX. I think it's RX Jones. Uh, R, you RX better, Art. You better look that shit up. Yeah. Tell me something you think. It, it, it go, it go, <laughs> look, it gonna be at the bottom of the screen. Look Don't worry about up. it. It gonna be at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Just look up Andrew Jones. He had his folders head the whole time. I that's think it's too, that's I, too much. I, I I'm on one screen. I'm I on one screen. Hey, look, if you don't hit the but uh, over. Uh, shout out to Jay, uh, Jada, and uh, Asia. Her over there. Uh, new, new you beauty. Uh, bar salon. Um, check them out. Get your hair done. Shout out to Mary Langhorn. She got a closing business that she's been doing for some years now. She's been killing it too. Um, Deja, uh, I mean, she do lashes. Shout out to these people over here, traveling angels. 
everything that they got going God on. God bless man. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we bring you greetings from Fallville, Virginia. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Booker. Shout out to the Tribe and Angels, everything God. that they got coming going up on 13 on. years. Who's the head of my Y'all Jesus. just, y'all just uh, oh, I performed at a program this past uh, out weekend. Out. Uh, y'all got some more stuff coming up too. So y'all stay be on, tuned, stay tuned. y'all be on the lookout for that. Uh, shout oh. out to my brother. <laughs> shout out to my brother. <laughs> Shout out to my brother Steve, uh, Steven, uh, and his group, The Drive, uh, R&B, Neo Soul uh, group that they got going on based out of the Lynchburg area. Shout out to, shout out to the group. Uh, yeah, they, just, they do stuff here and there. Shout out uh, to the group. Yeah, shout out to them. Fuck Steven. Did I miss anybody? Y'all didn't think of. Hopefully, sure Steven, I know I did Herbert. miss some people, man. Don't hey, take offense bro. to it. You know, always got fight with Steven. You know, don't take offense to it, but, you know, hey, we, we looking at y'all. We see y'all. Y'all keep doing your thing. Y'all keep uh, pushing in what y'all got going on. But that's y'all. That's our local, you know, black history. And shout out to us, man. Fuck that. We history, too, man. Yeah, we shout history. out to us, no, man. We, 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 we ain't going to say we history because we still. We, we part we of still history. history. I was like, I don't know what y'all talking about. We are part of We present. Here, there. We will here. Back here. I mean, I was with I'm you. I'm asking this. I'm asking this. When you asked him that question before we got started, no. you know what I'm talking about. Let me ask you this question. <laughs> what was that? Do you really want to be on the same page before? <laughs> That's family. <laughs> look, 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 what is your vendetta against me? Look, I'm gonna stick. Look, I'm gonna stick what beside. What did you have against? What did I ever do? Boy, I'm gonna stick beside him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna stick beside your man? What did I do to grind your kids? You wanna know? You, you wanna know? You want me to put it out here on the podcast? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you almost killed me in the this side. Oh, yes. Running red lights. Oh, that was yeah, a long oh, time ago. Oh, 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 oh. I can't let it go. I can't let it's it go. PTSD, I don't even want that side of Richmond no more. <laughs> <laughs> right, Two right. ties, what night? Damn. Yeah, yeah, it was you a fuck that night. Bro, one, four had a good night. Off of one beer, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> four had a good night. <laughs> we almost died. <laughs> That's y'all fault for not buying to the drive. That is y'all our fault. Y'all let me have the keys. That is our fault. That is our fault. You know who I really blame, though? What I do? We could roll with him. We could, yeah, exactly. Oh, why did why didn't y'all ride with me? <laughs> Tell us, nigga. Oh, I don't remember. I just remember you were locked up in the goddamn car with hey, the family. I don't remember what year was that. Like, oh, shit. good question. Ooh. I don't know. Like seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> really? I don't know. I feel like I was. Nah. I know it was his birthday. That was a minute ago. But I don't remember what year it was. Motherfucker, I thought I knew we were twenty one. Damn it, because we, we was bad. Yeah, bad be alcohol. Yeah. So we had to be twenty one. Had to be sixteen and above. Yeah, so like seventeen. I say like seventeen, eighteen. Huh. It had to be like seventeen, eighteen, because that was a deal. Yeah. Oh. Dang, it's been that long. We're time moving, man. I was at the post office at that point. This ain't even relevant to nothing we talked about. <laughs> oh no, it's not, not at all. But um. Oh, we talked. About <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. I was yeah, this ain't relevant right. to nothing we talking about. This, no. Russian attack Ukraine a year ago. That was, yeah, a that, whole, flew, that was a whole that year. Yeah, it, it blew my mind when I saw it too. I was like, "That was a year ago." I, I said, thought that was yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> that was like a couple months ago. Yeah. I said, "Yo, time moving like that." Mm-hmm. Yo, nah, shit, that shit could have like, been no damn year. I swear yeah, they was talking. Oh, yeah, they it was, was a year ago. News. They was talking about it on the news. They said the it radio. should be news, bro. No, but that, no, it couldn't have been that. Yeah, was bro, a year ago. It was a year ago. And I, I googled the shit after they said. It. I said, "Ain't no way that shit was." No, nah, bro, they lying. Bro, time yeah. moving. It's about bro, to Russia tripping now. Bro, time moving. Russia, Russia been tripping. Yeah, because we getting ready to go. We getting ready to come up on another presidential election soon. It'll yeah. be what next year? Next year. So yeah, it's been three years, and that happened. That first happened right when he got in office. Y'all too. think he'll get back in? No, so we gonna say that. We gonna say that for another episode. We ain't gonna talk. We gonna talk about sleep. We gonna talk about Sleepy Joe. No, we're gonna talk about Sleepy Joe. I ain't talking about Joe getting back in. I'm talking about other. <coughs> we ain't talking about him either. We ain't gonna talk about him either. That motherfucker get gas price back to 99 cent and 89 cent company. He get my damn book. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't know. I could use no stupid shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Oh, God. I'm just saying. That was a wonderful time. Ain't never was, seen gas that damn nobody, well, nobody won't go nowhere though. Nah, we won't make no moves. You, won't, we you won't make no moves, motherfucker. Uh-huh. I was. Where are you going? I, was, I didn't make no moves yet. Uh, you was essential. Oh, yeah. No, motherfucker. I was on the floor. shit was open. We went down there to Richmond eating and shit. I was riding. At the beginning stages. No, nothing shut me down, damn it. Shit. We shut the podcast down. Right. We was, like, like, we was, was out here room. riding. Bro. I was, was the one that said I ain't. Yeah, but I like your ass up. Boy, listen, listen. Take your ass on race so you don't tell me what to do. 
Motherfucker, I had a little letter in my car and everything saying I'm an essential worker. God damn it, that was right. Exactly. That's why I said. Oh, that's oh, why he was out because he was essential worker. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was, was, I was unemployed, so I was at home. No, I was, I was in the hospital. I'm trying I to flex off of essential worker. I just had to flex my badge. I think I'm trying to flex off an essential worker card. I ain't have one. Look, I didn't even have a worker card. Man, I was on board as hell. Damn, man, but look, man, we gotta. We feel like we got a good show home. for y'all today, man. Got some good topics for y'all. Revolve around this month specifically. This probably won't even come out this month, but we are gonna try to get it out before the end of the month, just to make it relevant. You know what I'm saying? But it is Black History Month. How do we really feel about Black History? Do we really celebrate it like we used to? What Black History? Black month? History Month. What do you mean like you used to? You celebrate Black History Month? Bro, you act like she been growing back. Enjoy learning about. I was in school though. Yeah, but we. It was, was a like time. Forced. It was a time though. It was like forced though. It wasn't the same. Uh, anything that you did in in school don't count. Because <coughs> it wasn't really your choice. Like, would you have learned about Black History Month? Yeah, you got a choice, motherfucker. You cut class or school? Shit, you got a choice. Not for us. We we were excelling. No, we we oh, were God. forced to go to school. So we <laughs> got our ass. What we had done this stupid shit. So like I said, forced. Yeah, no, no, that's not for everybody. That's not across the board. Yeah, but I'm saying us. We were forced. Well, oh, us. Yeah, we yeah, were forced. We ain't have a choice. The motherfuckers that won't, not man. Yeah, you had right, exactly. <laughs> so how you feel about it? Like is your mom? Yeah, it's a mother mom. It's another one. It's no. February. Yeah. Do you think we still? My mama's birthday is today. Shout out to mom. Y'all seen that video of? Happy um, birthday, mama. Happy birthday. Don't leave me hanging. Y'all seen that video of uh, Morgan Freeman when he was talking about Black History Month? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. I saw and he it. was like, you know, like pretty much like yeah. he don't really care for it. like we shouldn't even. It shouldn't pretty much we shouldn't even have it. He asked that dude, do he want a White History Month? Yeah. I mean, or yeah. Jewish Jewish Month and all that. I do think it's nice to have a month where you're like. You can learn something new. Yeah, but why it got to be the shortest month out of the year? But we month? only we look. I didn't know this to uh, long ago. We only had a week at one point. Yep. It started with a week. Yeah. It started with a week. It started, uh, dude. Uh, Carter Wilson used to have Negro Week. It was a <laughs> Negro week. Negro Negro History Week. <laughs> uh, I'll tell was, you, boy. Uh, coincided with uh, like uh, I think they said a birthday. And Frederick Douglass' birthday, like whatever week that was, that's mm-hmm. the week that they had it. I feel like that's another conversation for another podcast too. How black people really feel about Abraham Lincoln, because they try to, you know, they try to throw him in every time because of the man. What we came around for? Emancipation Proclamation. But that's what that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. a whole nother conversation. Well, we you know we got, but um yeah, start with a week. And then I think I forgot what president. I think Ford made it a whole month. In like gave us eight, February in like the eighties or seventies, seventies or eighties, one of them. But yeah, it gave us February. Well, it wasn't February, so they gave us February. I think it's part of reparations. We should have the whole month off. I don't know. I, feel, I just feel like now it's just like the shortest month. It's like what they do now. Is it a whole month off? Mm-hmm. Well, what you don't think so? We still getting paid, right? I remember yeah. If we get paid, yeah. 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 I'm about to say, motherfucker, what? I need money. I ain't taking no time off and doing. No, I want yeah. a pay it off. I remember the time he done said it was 365 days, Black History. And that's, that's a, true. And that's, and that's another thing, too. I could be wrong. They don't do those commercials no more. Well, but I don't care. Cause Why would on, you be wrong? Because that's on, your opinion. Minute, can I finish? Let me, you, let me you say go. you could be wrong. Can, yes, opinion. let me finish. You don't even know. Shut up. Let me say this. Stop. You're not wrong. Shh. Shh. Mom and Dad, stop fighting. Cause it's on the movie. That's why I said it. I was talking to an inmate and a counselor, and they would put quotes on my board. And they were talking about uh, Rosa Parks, and you know, I quickly thought back to Barber Shop on her, quickly. And then they named some other people. I said, "Y'all know what all these people got in common?" I said, "Look at me." I said, "What?" So all them got their ass whooped trying to make change. And they told me, "So well, you, you shouldn't say that, Watson." I said, "Did they get their ass whooped, or didn't they get their ass whooped?" And I said, as far as Rosa, she was tied. She sat down. <laughs> but I mean, it, it made a, it made an impact. She sat a black ass down on that bus and got recognized. Oh my God! You decided to say this on Black History Month. <laughs> <laughs> you decided to use a line from Barbershop on Black History Month. Did she not sit it's down? It's a black film. I give him credit. Did she not sit down? 
It started a movement. It did. It did. Because she sat on a light skin to the ass. But thing. do you think? Light skin. She wouldn't even get dark. See, we see, you ain't going to have. You ain't gonna do this. Sorry, they don't know folks. the color of sorry, people. Sorry. They, you, see what I you know how they be on the social. That, that brother is light. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Well, you lot of for it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no. Nah, I mean, it started. Yeah, I mean, I see both. But it started a movement though. But I don't know. I just feel like we just learned about they. They learned about the same two, three people. I think it, it, throughout it, that it, whole month. It gets to a point It'd where be like, you gotta, hey, here you go, Rosa, Gas Martin, Martin, and Harriet, Harriet. You know, I think, and maybe Malcolm. No, never. Yeah. I, I think it's Man. interesting. Actually. You ain't gonna talk about Malcolm until you probably in college. I think it's interesting actually when you like you have the opportunity to learn. You had hit the point about Black History being 365 days, and it's true. Like, but I do, I do take this month a little serious, just because like I, I at least like to learn at least one new thing. Which you with the internet, you can just get on. You know, the internet and learn something new every day. Like I didn't know, like, um, like a black man had invented basically the um, there was a disease back in the day called blue face baby disease. And he pioneered this black man, Vivian Thomas, pioneered um, heart surgeries for babies. You know, a baby's heart is too small to operate. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So him and um, the white doctor that basically because he was like a janitor there but then he's just like the, the white doctor saw he was picking up everything and was so yeah. smart that he actually he evolved him. i wouldn't even say evolved i think he's always smart i think he's just like i mean know, within the well not, not really no he, he was still a janitor oh and he would just be the lab assistant to this man they would do like they would do experiments on dogs to like replicate this the heart surgery for a baby and after everything was said and done they did the first surgery it was a success they had he was a part of it he actually stood over top the doctor and like instructed him and guided him and then for like years afterwards he didn't get recognition you know for it and stuff like that and i think it's like that's the thing that like kind of makes it annoying to know like you pioneered such an essential component of healthcare, and now it's like you don't you, you just not like, people don't even know about it yeah, it's man. a movie though it's uh something god made something like that the your fire ass movie that damn job it better Q. be black history it be, i just i that I, bitch he black <laughs> i hate john Q. shout out to uh the i hate that i hate that movie i really do and off topic i don't like that movie at all because one i you do cried. see what no i'm good for a damn about you crying like yeah you cried no, I ain't cry. It's just a disturbing movie to to watch that man have to go to jail to get his son, you know, heart. This is I don't know. It just it disturbs me. Oh, but not. Why can't you just get a heart? It'd be a happy movie. <laughs> Pick it back on what you were saying. I mean, you see that? No, 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 no. no. Talking about Black History. Grey's Anatomy. Hold on now. We got black doctors. Grey's Anatomy is a part of Black History. My mama watched Grey's Anatomy. Right, so. That's good and all, but they still not a part of black history. All right. So next question I got for y'all, you know, we talk about, you know, just learning black history in the schools. I understand it's the pretty much the same thing over and over each year. They don't really elaborate on all the black history that's really out there in the world. So my question to y'all is, you know, pretty much if we have to go back and learn our own history, why should we want others to understand it or want to teach others about it? I got a long way to answer, so I don't want to go Go first. ahead, because I ain't got one. So I'll use my dialogue practices and follow. So I don't think it's so much as like we want them to understand and know it because you want like even though even though they weren't directly affected by it or they weren't or like you know like the consequences don't fall on them they need to know why the consequences there like a lot of people don't really understand how detrimental slavery and jim crow was like a lot of people think that slavery ended and then we go into like the civil rights but that's not the case all the time so the effects of jim crow was pretty much almost detrimental as slavery it didn't allow us to progress ourselves or 
develop ourselves in the community or anything like that. And they need to understand that because until they understand how serious it is and learn our history and understand why it is the way it is, then we then we probably would, we can't do it all by ourselves. Do you think? Do you think they don't know or they don't care? I think it's I think some I think it's a little bit of both. And I'm not and I'm not talking about just uh I'm pretty much talking about like the generation that ne- that next generation after us mm-hmm. and up. Cuz I'm not going to fault the people like that still in like middle school yeah, and yeah, shit yeah. like that. But that generation right after us and up I feel like they should know better. Like it's 2023 now. Like we this all we've been talking about the last couple of years. You know what I'm saying? It's all we've been talking about. So is it is it the fact that they don't know, or is that they really don't care? I think that it could be a, a situation is like you she don't care to know, to or oh really? I'm sorry, but them creeping through here is so funny. <laughs> but I think it's like you gotta realize it's the conversation of a lot of them don't know. And, you know, when it comes to, like, your situation or, like, your household or, like, your life, things that don't impact you, you're not going to take the time to learn. Like, you you don't know the Quran because you're not Muslim. I'm not, Well, actually, I'm not going to say you don't know, but I'm going to say, like, you, like, it was something like, I don't know it because I'm not Muslim. So, I don't have a, a reason to go out and understand the history and the importance of this to their culture and everything like that. However, you know, like, it doesn't mean you have to be open to learning it. And that's where the conversation comes into play. Like, yeah, you can be ignorant on something, but I'm I'm pretty sure some don't care to know, and some just don't sit there and um, take the time to know. But it doesn't impact their lives, so they don't care to know. And I can follow up on that. I would, yeah, I don't know the Quran. I, I never study it. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I don't care about it. But just because well, I mean, like, not no, no, don't no, care I, about it, but like, I, I want to correct, like, you know, it's it's not on our radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, just because I don't know about it, don't mean I don't have to respect it. Yeah, exactly. You know, what but I'm you saying? have to be open like, to it, though. I have to be open to it, but I'm not going. A lot of times, you see, you know, when we talking about just black people, we get disrespected a lot. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, um, what's that thing there? Uh, affirmative action that started because mm-hmm. of us. You know what I'm saying? Just because of the they wanted more diversity in the workforce and whatnot. Um, but you still see situations that, like, listen to the Breakfast Club today. Um, somebody name I can't pronounce that name, but it started with an N. So it's one of those crazy. It was a female. It was, I think it was that chick. I think it was at Chick Fil A, and that's a Christian. <laughs> that's a Christian company, organization, whatever. And they pit they because they always ask you for your name, or whatever. They pit nigger nigga on her name for for her name. And then only thing they did was gave that person training. What? Why? Why you need training for that? That's common sense, right there. Oh yeah, facts. I definitely and think that it's just situations like that is like come on man yeah and not I, I agree it's frustrating it definitely is because like at that point that person should have been like reprimanded they should have been like definitely probably lost their job because like it's, it's that level of ignorance that you're talking about like you said it's 2023 we know we know better you may not know why this is important but you know not to do it so it's it's the conversation of but like i said you gotta be open to it and you're always gonna have some baby do Hey, Ethan. I'm going to say, um, you always got to have that conversation of basically like, there's going to be some that's ignorant. They don't care. They don't want to learn. They want to keep us where we are. The, whoever the person was at Chick-fil-A, was they young? Was they older? You know what I'm they saying? They never said it. Because then it's like, that's why, that's why it's important to teach it though. I want some Chick-fil-A now. I just ain't hitting like I used to. But, um, I also but even. A lot. But go ahead. But even words like that is like we had that conversation too. It's like what y'all think about the N word? Like me personally, of course, it's like I'm. I say it. I don't really care about it. Uh, some people may view it as a negative, negative word. Even you know, people in the black community maybe view it as a negative word. Yeah. But we know how we use it. You know what I'm saying? But where I was going? Um, uh, like stuff like that is like. 
um, how other you know raises may like rap rap a song, and they'd be like, "What is in the song?" But you know, us growing up, we rapping or whatever. We know how to cut the bad words out. We know how to exactly. stop. We know how to stop that bad word. Well, it don't your, matter. Your mama pop be in your mouth like. Oh. But what I think it's say? another. I think it's another thing too because you know we we talk about that word, but like a lot of stuff seems bigger than what it is because it's publicized more. You know what I'm saying? You saw that. Like okay, we're okay. talking about a word that you know was used derogatory and everything like that it has a deeper history and everything like that, but. Other races have slang words and words that they call each other that are bad, like that you that like they can use that we can't use. Did you ever want to use another? But that's what I'm saying, slang? and that's what I was, and that's what I was getting at. Like, that's when you're saying like, oh, um, they're using it, blah, blah blah. Well, yeah, because it's our word. Like, this is what we use in our culture, in our community. And if you have respect for us, then you wouldn't want to use it. The same way, if if it was your, if you had a word. And that you use amongst each other that it was, like you know what I'm saying like it's a cultural thing so it's like why would you want to sit there and use the word like why why is the word so important to you that's my question I don't know that's a great question but just oh, go ahead. what are you about to say oh. uh back and off of that you talk about culture Get what you, what uh how would y'all define culture in y'all own words <sighs> I mean I want to say like I mean, kind of uni- you like you unified, but that's not kind of the right word I want to use. As either. far as black Cause like people, because like a def- the like the definition definition book is it was like uh one, well one of them is like the customary beliefs, social forms, and material traits of a racial, religious, or sh- social group. Uh, that's like the book definition of it. Um. I think if I had to like describe it, it's like for us, it's like a way of life, like stuff. I can agree with that. It's like way a way of life. Of life. Yeah, it's like um, how we how we connect with each other through like just through like experiences and just like social influences and stuff like that. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be passed down from generations because. Shit changes over time. Like every five to ten years, stuff changes. How we live, you know, what I'm saying how we live five years ago is not how we living right now. So you right about that, you know. So it's you know you pretty much no chicken. Yeah. Chicken. So it's pretty much a way of life, and and that's culture. Yeah, chicken. it's culture. You know, what I'm saying we kind of like we pick up on that. We have that connection, not because we, like I said, experience. Not because we talked about it. Because we we been through it. We understand the feeling of that person. You know what I'm saying? I remember because uh, it, because it, it's it's almost like an unspoken law. Like you know, what I'm saying? I, I like which one of y'all don't know how to play spades? That one. I was like, I knew it was one of us. I just I, I was going. I was, that was gonna be one of my examples too. Like spades, that's culture. Like um, spades. Oh, you know, <laughs> spades is culture, but what about it's, but it's also like ah. Uh, um, Culture is learning space, but never having a teacher. Mm, I don't know because I had a teacher with space. I, anybody, you, I watched it. Yeah, yeah, you, but you, you gotta watch and pick up on it. Ain't nobody like say is that nobody unspoken rule. Yeah, yeah, I really learned how to you, play space was in uh, auto class in uh, high school. Well, we used to run some cars back in back in the day, and I didn't even try to get off topic, but um, with Ford, don't know nothing about that. That's because he spent you know, all he spent all day in Coach Fred's class. Uh, see, oh, you, yeah, oh, what no right. car player going on in there? Oh, a lot of quartet talking about <laughs> this, that, and the other. But um, it's like an unspoken, like an unspoken bond between people of the similar race and everything like that. Like you just know. And I think, like, I go back and I think about this line that Denzel said that, like, I forgot what movie he was talking about, but um, he was talking about like possibly. They had asked him why he wanted a black producer or something, a director for that movie. And he said, because it's a cultural thing to have. I remember it. I remember. When he said, like, because I remember the specific example he used was like the hot comb on the stove, like the smell it makes when it, you know, when it hits the hair and everything like that. Like, 
that's a cultural thing, which is very much true. Like, that's a part of our culture. I think. I think the thing culture about, is knowing you never touch a black woman's hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless. Oh lord! Unless you're in the bedroom. Oh, there you go. There you I, go. I finish it there for him. Go. Unless you're in the you bedroom. I'm glad you did. This. <laughs> The delivery of that was gonna be <laughs> off the chain. I, I didn't know. I didn't know where it was going, but yeah. I had a feeling. We here. <laughs> you know. I, I asked the question again. I'm gonna stick beside him. <laughs> <laughs> That's your man. <laughs> now, so you ain't right because earlier you was defending the man. I said no. Nope. I said as long. Now, I said one of us always gotta defend him. That's what I said. Joseph admitted you love me. One of us always got to defend him. We can't all <laughs> jump on him. Dang. <laughs> right. Finish what you were saying. Man, I, obviously I love him. That's cool. I got, that, I got that blue suit hanging up in the closet saying how much I love him. And then going to Petersburg. Fight, about to fight, fight people. To fight the people. <laughs> That's facts. I lost money because I love him. We was about, about to fight China. Boy, we was about to. Man, about wait a minute. To, yeah. Them ones, and we ain't want the real. <laughs> they want the ones across there. Yeah, you gotta specify that. Y'all see, you see their military march? I'm not fucking with yeah, them. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, nah, it's just, it's just like that, that culture, that cultural thing is just like, like I said, the unspoken law. That's, and I, and I, I think the thing is too, like a lot of people, you can be out of touch with your culture, like, like you can, you can. It's things about your culture that you don't, that you're not gonna know because, like, you had brought up the point earlier. Culture changes throughout the times. Like you, like I remember. Y'all remember perms? Y'all, boy, like I, like, I can remember the smell of a perm. Like, mm-hmm. the, and them albums, you had to put a little nickel on? Yup. That, but, but I wouldn't expect my oh, kids God. to understand yeah. what a perm really is because now the hairstyles my kids are what a, a natural. I is either. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Put the thing in the Or VHS. Or, I was about to say that orange boy for the rug race. For the rug race, yeah. man. But, Hell yeah! But you know, like, or, or or like a cultural thing, I feel like that we can understand was like, cause your t- your house usually your house only had one TV, and you you if your people was watching TV, that means yeah, you had to watch. You TV. had to watch what they watch. You had to watch what they watch. Culture is everyone growing up, staying with their grandma, and watching yep. the stories, yep. and calling yeah. it the stories when we know it's soap opera. Soap opera. Your grandma's house when the storming. Everything, everything cut off. off. Everything. Hey. hey, hold on. God talking. Mm-hmm. But grandma, working. No, 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 no. working. <laughs> what it what it mean if uh it's storming or it's raining or either raining storming and the sun, the sun out, the out the devil time, beating his wife, beating yeah. his wife, devil beating his wife. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but that's but that's 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 culture we come up on right there. Boy, yeah, you know, and Sunday I mean, like, in there. Boy, yo, mm. then you had one life to live. I tell you one all thing, my it's, it's all my children. I tell you, bold in the beautiful, bold in the beautiful. And the younger wrestlers. If you go back, I bet you the episode got the episode length for soap opera. Got this clock, Jeopardy, and Will There Portia. it is. That's it. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch news too. Gotta, gotta watch news at six. News. news coming on. Gotta watch then the, the news. Then the world news at six thirty. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I that's take years to bed. That's culture. <laughs> like that's, but that's bath. what I'm saying. Bath like, in bed. That's culture. Like, and it's crazy when you sit there and you think well, about it. Not the first cartoon. None. You might be like, I'm trying to say, like, when did I start watching cartoons? Like, one week, you know, Saturday mornings, Saturday mornings, Saturday mornings yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? Kids don't know about those Saturday morning waking yeah, up. He said some power, Boy. but you don't have the same type of cartoons we had. That's true. Oh. That's true. That's true. That's very true. You know, we had the wild thornberries in there. Mm. In what them. was the ginger? <laughs> what was that? What was that damn monkey name? Oh shit! I, don't I can't remember. think of it. I mean, what was the boy going? Like? <laughs> <laughs> Donnie. Is it me or did almost all the characters on Rocket Power high as fuck? I, but I think it was supposed to. Be, it was supposed to be that West Coast Cali feel to it. Yeah. I think it was high. And I think that this is what it was <laughs> like. That's why I was like, that was my shit though. Rocket Power was my shit. Rocket Power is, is a goat. You I got ro- sand in the potato salad. <laughs> that is the reason why potato salad. Yo, that's that's a cultural thing too. Like that is why Jada made the potato, potato and I call her salad. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I know that. Oh yeah, you don't eat everybody potato salad. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. But you talk about that though. Like, what are some of the what are some of the negative sides of culture? Oh man, you talking about trauma? You talking about hella trauma? Like what's traumatized? Stays, what happens in this house stays, stays in this house. house. We traumatized now. Running in that damn house and get whooped because we can't sit still. Oh. That was trauma. In or out. In and out. Boy, that's a good that one. It's not real. Uh, well, I can't really pity well, that's negative, but it's like 
being in the house before the sun go down but understanding the real meaning behind that yeah later, later on in life yeah that's but but and i feel like that's the thing like a lot of our a lot of our negative stuff come from our culture because of the fact like you got it that's why i say all the time you got to understand the history like i didn't know this for the longest time like the reason our parents wanted us to look decent going out going out and stuff like that was because child molesters will target kids that aren't well kept because they say they have a child really isn't care well about kept them. no one cares about them and of course children of color was always and i i didn't even like i didn't know about this either and i was watching um i think it was chris rock was talking about this saying like how like basically like you talk about like how how it was back during jim crow they were saying like during the great depression like when because you know like that's like the worst of the worst as far as the economy wise for the united states during the great depression when there wasn't like enough food and stuff to go around white people would come to the black neighborhoods walk in your kitchen take the food and walk out because you couldn't say nothing to them and it's stuff like that that i'll be like i tell people because i didn't know about that until like literally like a couple of days ago i was like stuff like that makes a difference when you when you understand it like i'm not mad about it but now i understand more as to why like why things are the way they are like you can't just you can't just put a dashiki on and think that things are going to change. You got that teak wood on, don't you? No, this is, um, I threw on some, uh, what is it? Damn, it's cologne. Uh. This is culture too. The motherfuckers always go out of topic, off the of topic. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the ADHD. Lord. Like, is it? Dior. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bosh. Uh, what they, yeah. what they, I think, um, that's After we money. talked about it, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. <laughs> we talked about it before, but just glorifying get the struggle. Out of one mm. that's about it too. In our in our culture, you know, what I'm saying it's like that's people uh, people have a different uh, people feel like you got to go through that struggle mm. in order to be successful. But also, how we always well, I ain't gonna say we, but how people always say like ha- highly successful people are part of the illuminati like they just can't be highly successful successful they can't you know put the work in that that couldn't be that destiny they have to say they so mm-hmm. to be in that position that they got in that's 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 well, part of something too. interesting to it and i didn't know that this was from like this was from trauma i don't know well i don't know but like y'all ever seen like black parents put their kids down like always like be like nah he bad as hell or something like that like no like black parents don't want really praising their children i didn't know that that was because during slavery if a if like um if a slave owner comes around and sees the child's a good worker then that means that he'll be a more profitable slave so what the parents of the slaves would do would be like oh he ain't no good worker he's stupid he dumb he this they'll put him down so that way the slave owner will leave him alone and stuff like when you so really, dumb it down like yeah yeah, dumb it yeah. Down, shit. when you really look at that's funny that you said that because uh my father cut you off no no, no i was thinking it's, it's this girl on tiktok that i follow that she be uh, i don't know if y'all be seeing her she be like canceling her co-workers because they'll be knowing like black history facts and stuff and you know how black people when we laugh we'll go running off and stuff like that <laughs> she said everything that we do is from a trauma response she said that in the fields you couldn't laugh and have fun so what you would do is you would run away <laughs> run off to the side of laugh to laugh without being seen that's why like we run when we laugh and i was like that makes sense we just automatically do this but i'm but speaking of running you see somebody running oh yeah everybody gotta go you don't ask no questions no (laughs) (laughs) i remember i remember in college i swear to god with the preacher i'm sorry no no whatever it was the preacher was the preacher in the church he was looking like that started running and he took off the whole church running right behind i'm just playing i'm just playing (laughs) Boy, I'm gonna tell you right now. I remember we had went. It was in college, and the movie theater used to be in MacArthur Mall. So the mall was shut down, but you know the movies would go on to like 10 or 11. It was a scary movie too. We all just went to go see. No questions asked. I walk out that bit. I said, "What the fuck?" Boom! Took off. Everybody going. Like everybody around. We all everybody like what the 
Like, what is it? What's wrong? I'm just going, booking it. Get to the car. I was like, there won't nothing behind me. But it was funny, though, because, like, the pure panic <laughs> on their faces was like, oh, ain't get me. <laughs> the, the goal is not to be last. Ain't it? Well, That's I, it. Well, I remember them days in the TP. And... Boy, man, I'm a bro. I remember one time. I don't even know what we was, once again. I don't even know what we was running from. But I had I had uh the slides on. Mm. We was we was at the bottom of the TP. My fucker start running. Boy, I was out. No slides was still back there. Was you out there that night? Socks that had night? holes all in it, but come running on that concrete. Did you? Was you <laughs> with us that night? That that niggas was playing knock knock. That was a couple nights, Joe. Oh, hey, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but no, no. This night, I remember specifically because I, I we could not find Terrence. Like, Terrence had disappeared. So, we like, you know, this is the point the cops got called up to such so like that. So, you know, they out there doing the thing. We all ducking and moving and just trying to wait for them to leave. We can't find Terrence at all. We, we looking. We like, yo, where is this man at? Bro, we just, we all just gathered up. N- niggas was like looking at this point because we know he was. We all gathered like right here. And I, all we kept hearing was like a hey, yo, hey, yo. So we looked around like, what the fuck? N- bro had climbed a tree. <laughs> bro was in, the, I will never forget looking up, and that nigga was in a tree. And I was like, how'd you even <laughs> get up there? Because there won't like no branches to pull up, like talking about. But I remember like when you, bro, when you, bro, when, when you, you run, s- when you run, you scared that adrenaline yeah, going. You'll do yeah. anything, ha- bro. I'm gonna. This is probably the last door. We was at <laughs> Hampton Sydney, uh, uh, by Hampton Sydney, uh, like Dawson Heights. It's when Charles used to uh, live over there, and we was at the basketball course outside. No, was it the basketball course? Yeah, I think it was the basketball course, not that main one that's like on the main campus. But it was another basketball court. We, I don't know where this dog came from, bro. Oh boy! But it was on the other side of the of the cage. Dogs be smart. That motherfucker started running. He found that door right here. Bro, I was with Charles, John, and Raheem. You know how fast those three are? Yeah. I beat all of them. (laughs) (laughs) I beat all of them. All of them. I said, you don't be last. Yeah, bro. I don't got to be the fastest. I just don't got to be last. Bro, I beat all of them. You don't be last. I took off, man. I was out that joke, man. Everything I love. Yeah, that's how it be though, weird. man. It's a, it's a lot of stuff, man. It's weird that stuff though. That's what I'm saying. Like you, you sitting there, and I'm saying like you say you mad about the N word, which I get. It's a negative connotation, but bro, it's it's stuff we do on a daily basis. That's a resemblance of a trauma that we experience as a culture. Like you can't you can't sit here and just you know what I'm saying. It's not gonna be wiped with with symbolic gestures and stuff. Like Somebody said it's a boxing. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna be white with symbolic gestures, bro. It's gotta be like legislation in place. It's gotta be something yeah. in place for the change to happen. So. But well, yeah, when you talk about just the trauma within the uh, the community, this conversation can go on. Yeah, like two, three episodes. You can talk about just the another one I want to talk about. Not not today, but just like the the vision within the community. Mm-hmm. That that I feel like a lot of that comes from trauma too. Not just with men versus black men versus black men but you know men versus black men versus black women as well you know what i'm saying but don't slap me some on the cash <laughs> app facts yeah, that's the, but um this thing tell me to file my taxes we're gonna oh that, i they, hate that bro shit, they bro. send that notification every day. ain't nobody I'm filing taxes with you can first of all i'm like who blessed you, me <laughs> ain't nobody tell out. you to take that one two three dollars that you always take out because somebody sent me the money exactly and anyway i want to draw it out <laughs> we, we gonna move on to our legs uh last segment of this episode uh no cap uh four you want to start us off come back <laughs> joe what's the no cap i just be so sick of this man over that nigga man uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, i got no. you back it's all right you ain't no oh yeah we jumped I, so you gotta I, I, I want to walk a walk up he said that nigga ain't know. What you said? What you tell him? Uh, the last uh episode when was us? What I tell him about the no cap. Oh, we've been doing no, no cap, cap for the past three yeah, years. Yeah, but he didn't know you was about to finish up. 
We've been doing no cap for the past three years. We're going to move on to our last, last segment. segment. He already had the ice in his mouth. Yeah. We do no cap every <laughs> episode. <laughs> All right, ice gone now. No cap. <laughs> I'm over that nigga. You had to say something? You had to fucking say something. You. You. He showed it. Hey, he tried to show it. He did. He did. Hey, no and that cap. That man would have fell on the table. I've been weak. I'm like, okay, now what? <laughs> What's your you no cap, Joe? Hey, no cap, bro. Be true to yourself. I knew you was going to say that shit. Really? That's yeah, original. Oh. Really? Yeah. Oh, I really meant it. I said, man, I, 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 oh, I was going to go a little deeper into it. Joe, I know you mad. I know you mad. It's because he likes him. Oh. It's because he likes him. <laughs> also, <laughs> I noticed something else too about your child last time I came over. When I was sitting down, she was not fucking with that. But as soon as I stood up, yeah. she loved it. So I just realized if you stand up and you tall, you got it. You got it. <laughs> but um, nah, be true to yourself, and uh, everything else will fall into place, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, uh, when you start living true to yourself and your goals and your ideals, and you don't really let society and others like dictate your moves and stuff like that, a lot of blessings and stuff fall into place for you. How many times you to say that same no cap? Have I really? Yeah. Really? Really? Oh, I just say whatever I feel during the week. You don't remember one episode I was like, oh, let me guess. Stay true to yourself. Really? Yeah. I can switch it up. I was about to use one of your uh, first no cats, but I Which changed my mind. Oh, really? Yeah, I ain't. Ain't hey, no cat fuck Ram. Hey, that is what it is. <laughs> it's a way of living, you know? I you know, do use that a lot. What's your no cat for? Since you uh, finished your ice. Nah, he probably put another piece in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like sucking nah. shit. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you don't even got you don't even got to take that wrong because you can suck boobs, my brother. Bro. Yeah, you don't got to take that wrong. Why you got to? Why you? Why you? Why you thinking? Why? You, why you thinking that way? You weren't prepared for that, but Gabrielle Union's ex getting his butt ate by her justified blue suit. I told you. I need that. Hey, burn that bitch. <laughs> hey, burn it. Hey, Tunisia, burn that blue jumpsuit. <laughs> Alright. Tunisia Oh trouble. He said he said he wanted all of us to get matching one. Yeah, I ain't getting no mind. blue. I ain't getting no blue. Alright, let me ask you a question. Ethan <laughs> Ethan, Tunisia, and the blue jumpsuit all in the house fire. Which one are you saving? <laughs> you say that for the debate. <laughs> don't answer. You don't gotta answer. <laughs> Don't answer that. I promise, I promise that's that's gonna be a debate question. That is now. fucked up. I'm, I'm gonna give you I one too. I just made him the blue jumpsuit. You can make me choose between my wife and my son. Ain't a blue jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the jumpsuit. Oh, he. he, he oh, I thought he loved that jumpsuit, y'all. He saying fuck it on camera. He'll get another one. <laughs> he he saying fuck it on camera. He gonna grab that first. <laughs> Come on, Ethan. <laughs> you got legs. <laughs> Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. You, what you no cap for? No cat. Fuck Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that part. But uh, <laughs> no cap. Be grateful for the day. Oh, that's not original. Simple. Oh, uh, no. That's what we're, I, don't I know, feel like. No. Do I, I feel like we recycle. Oh, yes. Okay. Be grateful for today. Recycle. For tomorrow is not promised. Okay, that's original. But learn and thank God for your past. Mm, I like it. He just stole somebody's sermon. I don't he care. Did. It was good. It was good. Hey, boy. All right. that word. My new cap. I got two. Well, I can't go. I, 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 no. I, two. I forgot about it. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got two. Uh-oh. One. Uh-oh. Right. First, it's not nothing crazy. You cool one. Program. No cap. I'm pissed <laughs> because <laughs> We're gonna talk I, 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 I got to be responsible financially. Oh, God. Here you go. You're about to say some of these damn taxes. And I can't. It's not even about the taxes. Oh, and I'm oh. making the choice And I'm making the choice Not going to this Wayne concert Because the ticket prices Is not meant For motherfuckers Like a 9 to 5 motherfucker <laughs> Hold Dumb <on>. shit <laughs> Hold on I could buy them But it wouldn't be responsible Over me to buy the ticket Especially if it's a fucking standard room It's higher than the Beyonce ticket prices No How? no no Oh y'all know that's what, that was gonna be my um, no. thing No but Go ahead But it's like a once in I don't know when this nigga gonna go back on tour. But I really wanna go to this goddamn you concert. Just do it. Well it's it's not Bro, you got something. Bro, it's not bro. How no. much are the tickets? I'm gonna take it's like 
Like one of them is like four hundred. All right, then never mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, if you had to say it once, up, you might have been on board. See, and stuff. You better hope somebody even, go live. No, <laughs> honestly, bro, honestly, even if it was like two hundred, like two hundred, I'll buy a couple. Them drones started off pre pre sale was already over three hundred. Them bitches raised up to four now, and it, they say it's a standing bro. It's a standing room. I mean, you ain't gonna have a seat. That means, yeah, that means you stand up the whole you know concert. Saying? And I don't know when this nigga will go back on tour, bro. I'm like, fuck. You know how I felt about Wayne. I know, I know. Uh-huh. You know how I felt. You know how well, I I paid $400 some dollars for a ticket for a concert. For an entry. Just, it, I just about to have a meal. meal. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I'm sorry. And a seat. Bro, that's what I'm saying. So I was like, I'm gonna make the. F- and something to sip on. Unless, unless, up, unless somebody mama wanna uh, hey, give me. Go. Unless somebody mama wanna give me. You know the money to get the ticket. I ain't going. But my second no cap is just because somebody, you know, disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that they hate on you. Y'all are not above criticism. Speak for yourself. Y'all are not above. You are not above criticism. Don't criticize your mama. I'm not above criticism. Your mom is not above <laughs> criticism. <laughs> <laughs> criticize my mama. <laughs> we gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> say, okay, now yeah, I'm interested yeah, in the conversation. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's above criticism. I got man, something to say, but just my because, <laughs> man, just because somebody don't uh, agree with you, don't like something about you, doesn't mean that they hating on you, man. That's facts. Honestly, bro, like get over yourself. It's not that serious. Facts. Um, I got that just because of um, <gasps> that Super Bowl situation. Um, Rihanna and shit like that. Man, y'all stupid. Hey, Tunisia, <laughs> turn up just a little bit. Not too loud because it's gonna be on the on the <laughs> mics. Red, do your no cap right quick. Hold on, wait, we Hold just going for the song. Yeah, yeah. Dead, right Turn it up real quick. No, do yeah. your no cap. Bingo. Right hey, boy. <laughs> hey, no Chili and Bandit. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. If y'all don't do this guy. Bluey! <laughs> boy, I love Bluey, boy. <laughs> Have you seen the Sleeping Time episode? She, uh, I she think looked so. at y'all like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, my no cap. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Bluey, fire. <laughs> in, the, in the conversation. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> Right. No. She looked at you like, Dad, really? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no cap, man. Inspect what you expect. You say inspect? Inspect. What's in, like inspect it? Like look into it? Inspect what you expect. I don't know why you saying inspect is messing with my mind right now. And that's an actual <laughs> word. Elaborate, elaborate. So, if I'm a supervisor, right, and I'm going to have an expectation, I want to inspect it and make sure it's getting done. I can't just set the expectation out there and not check on it and show it's going the way that I expect it to. You got to inspect what you expect. I don't want like to no cat because it's something I got to do work. You do. If I'm the supervisor, I have to tell you what to do. It's not just doing work, like work, work. It's even, it's even work, like work on yourself. I work on the wrong person. It's like, it's like you got to do work. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we will come to the conclusion of this episode of Unfiltered Brothers, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all subscribe. Like joke, right, right. Right. Yeah, Make sure so. y'all subscribe to us on YouTube, man. Uh, follow us on all social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We on TikTok too. Link is in the corner. If you're watching this, link is in the description. Um, if you're listening to this, but once again, we appreciate y'all. We just passed. We just passed our three years. Um, okay. Anniversary um, Valentine's Day um, So yeah We appreciate the support Keep supporting us Give us feedback But with that Y'all stay blessed Y'all stay safe we And out we out here. you Peace Peace